Stop drinking regular or diet soda. Stop in the name of love. It's incredibly bad for you. And I'm gonna tell you about something perfectly healthy that you're gonna love to drink instead. Something's coming, I don't know what it is, but it is gonna be good. Please take a moment now to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, you just know it's eating you letting you're not letting your mama film the show. <laughs> Can you get your mom some suckies? Check this out, you're not gonna believe this. Louis Armstrong called. He said he wanted to sing my opening jingle. <laughs> Couldn't you believe this guy? Sincerely, Sammy. Sincerely, Sammy. The first soda as we know it today was Dr. Pepper created in 1885 by a pharmacist in Waco, Texas. So you guys wanna go get like a soda or something like that? And I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of drinking something sweet with my meals. The problem is that whether you're drinking Coca-Cola Classic, Diet Coke, or Coke Zero, for example, you're consuming either a ton of sugar or manufactured chemicals that have been shown to possibly be carcinogenic, among other things. We all know just how catastrophic sugar is to our bodies, and drinking sugar is the worst way to ingest it. As a liquid, no major structures need to be broken down. The sugar immediately converts to glucose and enters the bloodstream, causing a burst of insulin, which signals the liver to turn all that glucose into fat or glycogen. Okay, I'm gonna make a left here, see if anyone is coming. I'm gonna make sure that it's coming from that direction over there. Oh, golly, golly, I missed it. Oh gosh. Ah. The molarity or concentration of sugar in Coca-Cola is so high, it should really make a person vomit as soon as it enters the body. But the added phosphoric acid in their recipe cleverly masks the sweetness and makes it tolerable. Frankly, eating a little handful of candy would be better for you than drinking one regular sugar sweetened soft drink. Because then at least the solid form of the candy has time to be broken down. Luckily, the good folks at Zevia have come up with a natural remedy for this unsavory dilemma. Zevia sodas are sweetened with stevia, an intensely sweet tasting plant native to Paraguay and Brazil that has been used to sweeten beverages and make tea since the 1500s. They have 16 different flavors. Mama, I'm just like gonna take her around the block, okay? God. And I've got 13 of them in my pantry right this cherry, uh, uh, right, right, right this very moment. Their flavors are cran raspberry, vanilla cola, cola, cherry cola, caffeine free cola, creamy root beer, ginger root beer, cream soda, black cherry, ginger ale, Dr. Zevia, orange, lemon lime twist, mountain Zevia, grape, strawberry, and grapefruit citrus. So, uh, you're telling me as I've got some options. I need to think this over. Now, let's talk about the science. Science! Science! science. science. She blinded me. One of the biggest problems Americans face concerns the amount of highly processed foods in our diet. The term ultra-processed food, or UPF, first appeared in the 1980s to qualify in part the inundation of additives, including aspartame, found in diet sodas, to our foods. Unlike the stevia used to sweeten zevia, artificial sweeteners such as the ones found in UPFs are chemically derived in a laboratory and essentially perceived as novel to our bodies. We basically don't know what to do with them or how to break them down, and as a result, the rates of cancer, overweight and obesity, heart disease, mental health problems, type 2 diabetes, early death, respiratory problems, metabolic disorders, and gastrointestinal ailments have skyrocketed in the past 40 plus years. This is legitimately a public health crisis, 
that will ultimately require an intervention from our federal government and major changes to be made concerning the relationship between big food and our food subsidies. And it'll be many years before this situation is resolved. So until then, we must remain vigilant about where we buy groceries and what foods we choose to put into our bodies. And avoiding harmful soft drinks is only the first step. But enough about that, I'll make a some carrot, enough about that, I'll make a some carrot, another banana, I'll make a sample of the carrot, another banana, this time I'm carrot! Okay, that's it for this show, He, She's, and They's. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and try to learn some stuff. Damn it! Talking about credit, where credit is due. Slip it and slap together for Sammy. What the fuck?